MMAfighting.com in Belfast with Amir Khan. Amir, big words out there on the stage. Uh, That's it, man. Another world title is in, is in the uh, in the crosshairs for you in the future. Definitely, you know, it's in my sight, man. I want to win another world title in boxing. And, um... I mean, that's my, that's my goal. Uh, for having the big names, for having the big fights, uh, you know, every fighter wants that. But now it's all about wanting, wanting to win another world title and then hopefully win uh, and then see what happens and comes up from there. Some big names that I want to fight, the likes of Bruna, the likes of Garcia, Peter some big names in boxing. Boxing is still alive, boxing is still good. Uh, the way it used to be, and especially the welterweight division, it's still, it's still got the biggest names in boxing. So now having a new deal with uh, Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Promotions and Sky I think that's only going to give me that extra motivation to go out and get them big fights up. Eddie Hearn was kind of churning the rumour mill uh, earlier this week saying you know, th- that he was thinking about putting together a fight with Kel Brook for September 1st did you hear anything about that? Uh, I've not heard anything for September but you know it's a fight I want I mean a fight I would love to have because you know Brook is a name that everyone keeps mentioning and I want that fight so uh, that's the reason I don't deal with Eddie to make that fight more realistic uh, so let's see. I mean, look, these are fights that can happen, and I don't, I'm not one guy to shy away from anyone. You know, I've, I've took on the biggest names, I've fought the biggest names, and let's make it happen. How good does it feel to have come back after that time off? Like, yeah. I, I think a lot of boxers and a lot of fighters in general, they don't like to take that time off. They think they feel that they're going to lose momentum. Do you feel like it, it's really done you the power of good to take? Um, that I think it would be good because you know, I get the hand uh, fixed. It was a problem I had since my second, third fight as a professional and I hit someone on top of the head and, and I broke the metacopal area and now punching with it nice and openly, hard as I can and I mean you saw how I put Le Greco down with the right hand I mean that's the hand that's been fixed and so right. it showed that the power's come back again and the, I'm throwing f- with it with full power, not being scared how, how much it's going to hurt me afterwards or if it's going to hurt me, if it's going to break again. So I've got that confidence back in me now. And, um, you know, to come back after two years the way I did, I think I could have asked for it any better. It just went the right way. And I, I, and I went in there. I was confident, but not too confident. Because, like I said, two years at the range is a long time. And I have to be on my game, A game, because if I make a mistake in there, someone like Le Greco would have take, jumped on it and took it. So, you know, people are disrespecting Le Greco, saying, oh, you fought someone. Um, who wasn't on your level, but no, you can't say that because in the day, Le Greco had a full, full 13 week training camp. He's only lost three fights, fought the likes of Sean, uh, Sean Paul, went the distance with him. Sean, uh, uh, I was friends, it took him to six rounds or five rounds, it was. So, really, he's fought some good, name, good, good names and a good opposition. He's only losing three fights in his whole career. But when I fought him, I took him away in the first round. It was just because I caught him with a good clean shot. I mean, that could have happened, about, could have happened to any of us. So, you can't really take. A lot of, you can't disrespect him or take a lot of credit away from him. Look, end of the day, he came in the ring and just got caught. That's boxing for you and MMA. MMA is the same sport as well. You know, we've seen the best get knocked out with one point. So that doesn't mean, you know, he's finished. I wish him all the best. I wish he comes back and shows what he's got left in him. Of course, we're at Brave in Belfast. And like Brave uh, F- uh, CF13, it's the first time Brave have come to Europe. You know, what, what do you think of this? I know you've been around MMA a bit. Like, I mean, just from what you've seen of the show so far, what do you think? I think the shows are amazing, honestly. Um, I've seen many MMA shows and I, I, it has to be up there one of the best I've been to. Brave, uh, a good friend of mine is the owner, which is Sheikh Khalid from Bahrain, and he has a lot of interest in MMA. Well, he has a vision just like myself, you know, we, I, want to, I want to promote boxing and he, he's doing the same thing, promoting MMA. Now, bringing them both together, one day maybe there's something we could do in the future together. I also own an MMA league myself, right. which is uh, called Super Fight League SFL in India, and taking it to Pakistan and hopefully then moving it to uh, different locations around the world. Mine's a little different, mine's more of a team concept, uh, city versus city, whereas what Sheikh Ali is doing is very similar to what UFC is doing, and I think that Brave definitely is a company that will give UFC a run for its money, because UFC at the moment is uh, the only company out there which has got the biggest name. Uh, I think Brave is up there as one of the, one of the big chases and one of the guys who could take over. Just finally, you had a few words for Adrian Browner out there. Is that a fight that you really want? I can imagine the fight. a lot of attention there. You know what, there's a lot of attention in that fight. I mean, these are the fights that people want to see that promote itself. Um, a fight between me and Browner, just the names promote the fight and we'll sell the fight out. But let, let's, let's have it. I mean, look, I'm, I'm in a position where I want to fight the best out there. Find Browner and taking it from there, I mean, that's what I want. So, let's see if it can happen.